bamboo. <laughs> they do. They're listening to you. They're all coming. They're saying, oh, it must be something, a gate, heading towards a gate. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> what is your mix? Suffolk and... Yeah, there's kind of Suffolk Charolais with a bell flare breeding in them. Um, the last few years we've been using like New Zealand Texel, New Zealand Suffolk rams and they uh, were awesome for for the uh, lambing time. For hardy lambs that jump up and suckle yeah, right away. Yeah, easy to lamb them. Excellent. You know, because the mums end up having we all we all are she except for those mules there's a few mules in there yeah we got 20 mules this time last year but aside from the mules they're all homebred stock as well like the mules are those that kind of look like they have the, uh, painted, the faces. painted faces yeah. yeah and where are those mules from mayo mayo mules a very traditional breed to uh mix to collect yeah, they have a completely different personality eh? They jump over. Uh, yeah, they're they're more like antelopes than sheep. Fucking flighty animals. Yeah, they're very flighty. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a fan. <laughs> no, I've been campaigning to get rid of them, but actually, we had we have some of them have a bit of a skin thing going on, and what we're thinking might have happened is that in July we had sprayed the sheep for flies. Yeah. And you know the way these sprays, they don't just kill the flies. They they like let the flies lay their eggs, the eggs hatch out, but then they die going from the first to the second larval stage or something. Yeah, like yeah. And they have a bunch of them have these kind of pink patches on them. Yeah. And we're wondering if that's what happened, if it was kind of almost fly strike. Oh yeah. But it never actually was fly strike, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because they have these uh so a lot of them have them have that on them, so we didn't want to sell them because we didn't actually know what it was. And these are the painted ladies, or like yes. that one lying down yeah. there. Yeah. And then there's a lovely painted lady there, face there. Yeah. And then there's three over here. Yeah. One, two, three painted yeah. ladies. I like calling them painted ladies rather than y than mules. Makes them sound like butterflies. It does make them sound like butterflies. <laughs> So beautiful here. It's gorgeous, eh? It is so gorgeous. How about you, lady? You good? Or 
her own good. Any complaints to the management today? <laughs> Speak now or forever, forever hold your peace. I think they're all good. Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. Saying, but you haven't opened the gate. Yeah, they're like, what? What, what, do, you what, what do you want here? us to do what, now? Like, what, do you want us to move? Do you want us to move? <laughs> <laughs> you all are going to run away if I get too close because you don't know me. We've been admiring your sheep. Yeah. And what are you doing now? Okay, so I'm improvising. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do... Um, this is me catching you on the hop. Absolutely. No, we um, do our own fecal egg counts. So we check our own sheep's feces for presence of any parasite eggs. Um, usually I would be armed with a small paper cup and a little wooden spoon. Uh, which can be composted afterwards uh, but unfortunately I have neither so I found some plastic in the jeep and I found a bit of wood and I'm going to collect so that's your plastic cup and your spoon cup, and this is my wooden spoon <laughs> we're improvising um, and I'm going to gather some poop and we're going to do a fecal egg count usually I wouldn't actually do it with the girls these are the grown-up yo's I usually wouldn't take fecal egg count samples for them because generally by the time they're adults, they actually have their own immunity. So it's not as vitally important that they would. We'd be so generally it's the lambs that you so do the, the egg counts on. We would be doing. So this lady really wants you to open the gate. She, she, she really, she's a bit of a pet, this one. Oh, she's going to scratch my head. I know, baby girl. So what we'll do is we'll gather some crap We'll be able to look under the microscope and see what is present and that would if they were lambs that would give us an indication of whether or not we need to take alternative reaction action alternative action well, a, reaction? a reaction is it a reaction we react. oh it's a re you're reacting of course yes you're reacting okay, to the egg a count different course of action there we go or a course of action. <laughs> Now, everybody must understand that Leonie and I have known each other for quite Many. a few years. <laughs> so we can uh, be, um, what, cheeky with each other? For sure. Yes. But always maintaining respect. Oh, oh, always remaining, <laughs> take, me, keeping respectful. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. Let's go find some fecal matter. Amongst the flock. Or if you prefer, we will be down with some lambs. We could wait until we go down to them and actually do a real one. Well, why don't... no odds. Poop is poop. Poop is poop. For me, so... Well, why don't we try... A, why don't we try one from the yos and then we can go collect from the lambs? Yeah, sure. Do that one each. Yeah, we'll and we'll know. Yeah. And down with the lambs, we'll be able to use the cup and the wooden spoon. Yeah. And then we'll know which is the yos is the... The plastic... Yeah. Possibly with some chocolate on it. Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> plus. <laughs> okay, let's try this then, so. Okay. All right, ladies. I'm going to let you go in, and I'm not going to go in because they That's will get no more problem. crazy scared. So, so you can find is, fresh poop. The other thing is that really ideally, yeah, you want poop that has just been pooped. Is that poop right there just been pooped? <sighs> that looks like it might just Oops. been pooped. No. 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 Oh no, it's not, it's, it's not soft enough. It's way more than you need to know about poop. No, 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 we've all <laughs> got to know about poop. Poop is hugely important because not only is it important for dung beetles, it's also important for knowing the worm burdens. Yes. So poop is highly important. What is wrong with you? Oh, you're not scared of me. Hello. Hello, I'm a stranger. You good girl. So Leonie is slowly moving towards and through the flock and sheep, when they move away, tend to do a fresh poop. So we're keeping an eye out for somebody who poops some fresh poop. Or we might come across some. You've there. spotted a fresh poop. Yeah. Okay. You go. I'm going to stay here.
Not fresh enough? Or not enough? Yeah. So you're like me. didn't work very well. Oh, the scoop didn't work? It's still warm. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so, so there's the fresh poop. Look, con condensation. There, look, it's not so yours, you know eh? it is so fresh. <laughs> really, really fresh poop. <laughs> Isn't that right, ladies? Look at them. They are so... I'm a stranger. Hello. But I must smell like a sheep. You're probably part ovine, to be quite honest. I'm probably part ovine. Hey girls, hey, how ladies. are you guys? Yeah, how are you? Okay, let's go look at the lambs. And this is one of the crazy... The mayo mules. The mayo mules. Or two of them right there. Here's the Marriott. Yes, hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. You sweet girl. Aren't you sweet girl? Yes. <laughs> I must be part Ovid. Because that's a flock that doesn't know me from Adam. First time I've ever met them. They're quite calm though, eh? They're lovely and calm, but that means they're well used to you and you work with them in a yeah. manner in which they understand. Yeah. So they don't freak out at your presence. Yeah. Yeah. And that's makes a huge difference in livestock management that is when... Brandon for the win. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, ladies. All right, ladies. Are you coming to complain to the manager? They are. They're definitely coming to really? complain and say they want to go to a new field. Really? Such a gorgeous uh, view. This is my favorite field, actually. In the whole I place. am not surprised. It is absolutely Very stunning. Pretty. Well, let's go and do the lambs. Yes. Bye, ladies. Lovely to have met you. This looks like a pile of feckin' weeds. Yeah. Though I say so myself. Yeah, well. And this is actually. It is a pile of weeds here with a lot of the okay. thistles. But actually the seeds from the thistles are loved by a lot of the little finches as well. So. We'll ah. But behind. Yeah. You can see behind the, the thistles there, there's willow way behind, but actually Yeah, the willow us, up at the top. Yeah. Between us is actually, we have a reed bed system. So there's three ponds. With oh, different types of yeah. willow, uh, with reeds and that kind of thing. So the idea is that it takes the off, the runoff water from the the yard and the farm and all the rest, and it gets filtered through these three different beds, um, eventually into a pond over here. Okay. And then it goes out. So it's there's a natural. Filtr filtration system yes. for the this is purely um it's not slurry it is purely just the wash of water yes. across the yard yep. so would have slurry is dealt with differently we have different yeah systems you have a different system for slurry this is purely um, the water wash so this is so it comes in over there uh, you can falls see down there. A little pipe over yeah. there. Yeah. You can see we actually have some wood in as well. Some yeah. lumps of wood, and that's if there's any little frogs or anything, so they can get. So up the up. wood, the bits of timber, they can get up off of it. Yep. And this is, and you can actually, you can see. I mean, we've a lot of weeds growing in it that we've put in because I. But those to, are the oxygenating weeds, they aren't to they? Oxygenate the water. Yeah. And keep it clear, and that's why. I mean, you can see it. It's not glowing green with no it's not glowing green it's, it's uh, you can see the clear water and those are oxygen i know those weeds yeah. well they're oxygenating weeds yeah. so and then where does it oh and i see you even have a step ladder for the frogs yes so they can get out and then over here there's a pipe wait a sec in the corner oh this white pipe here yeah and it goes down and away it goes down through oh look here's the exit 
So it exits. It's got a both an exit, or did that fall off? Or is that a goes I down? I don't know. I'm gonna have to investigate that. That actually looks like yeah, we might be missing a part. Oh, is that a elbow goes in There's there? There's an elbow that should be there. I think. Okay, I think a cow or a horse or a sheep or a pig I think or a maybe human. A, a sheep, maybe. It's their bottom. I think. And the elbow's gone. I'll have to investigate. That's bad, ba bad sheep. We'll, uh, I'll get a new one though. This not the end of the world. No, they're, those are easy enough to get. But so, so, so it then goes in. So it goes normally, the there's normally. an elbow here. Here. It goes under the ground. Yes. And, um, oh, I think it's found it. <laughs> you found the elbow. Oh dear. Yeah, I think the sheep had fun with it. <laughs> so yeah, so then it, it just goes out with the drain. So the way the, the way, the way the water would have gone naturally when it, if it was uh, drained down through the ground, it would have come out. In the drain, the drain there's a there. drainage ditch right yeah. along here. Yeah. yeah. So it is a filtrate system just for yard water, not, not from slurry. Absolutely not. There's no slurry, Absolutely it not. is nothing. It is purely... We have, a, we have a separate dung stay, which is a place where we can leave dung and that drains into a separate tank. Yeah, so this is purely yeah. yard wash, which yeah. a lot of the times isn't animal manure, it's just too much rainwater because the animals are out in the fields. Well, we've had to, you know, we have a hardcore yard, which means that it doesn't drain water has to go somewhere even just the roofs from the shed the water can't go through that's not the idea of a roof <laughs> so, so you know we need a place for all that water to go if you don't have a field that lacked as a soakage area when the rain is coming down you have to do something else so, and so that's what you've done is to put in a series of soak away filtration yeah. what do you call them again so it's a reed bed a reed bed yeah. and well, there are reeds in there i could see yeah. from the top yeah. And then you have willows rimming it uh, all across the bulrushes. And excellent. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a, about 50 different varieties. Of... I know because I planted them. <laughs> all these kind of, you know, aquatic grasses and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. That is very cool, which makes it a very biodiverse place. And is it full in the spring? Do you hear the frogs singing and everything? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So it's and full. During the summer, you'll have a lot of dragonflies around. <gasps> wow. Water, like so that. it's a very environmentally friendly way to deal with excess of runoff from the yard uh, that is unrelated to manures and slurry. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. No, excellent. I mean, like, otherwise, you just have it going into a drain and it goes away. But at least we're trying to make sure that it's clean, as clean a water as possible when it's you know. So any mud from the yard or any anything it just goes like, through the. No, I think that's excellent. And now we know you've got to get your elbow back. I have a new elbow to maintain. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got to go and do the... Um, got to do our pooping samples. Do poop samples. Exactly. <laughs> what is this called? You were telling me an interesting name. Goat willow is what I know it as. Goat willow. I've never heard of goat willow. It's It's... A very straggly willow. It's different from willows that I know. And you have Budlia here. And then uh, definitely admiring your magnolia blossoms. Yeah. Which is kind of the wrong time of year. Totally the wrong time of year. Listen to the bird. Where are you? You're up there somewhere. You're lovely. Lots of birds around. Better robin. Yeah, where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I see him right there. He might be my friend from last year. I had one who was always in the shed last year. 